In this video, I want to show you how you can use the new sketched shapes feature in PowerPoint to show a draft process moving to a final process. In PowerPoint, we start with our draft process. And what I've done here is I have drawn rectangles and some arrows. And what I've done here is I've applied the new sketched shapes feature for each of these shapes. So if I'll select one of them, under the line attributes, we have a new item here called sketched. And it gives us some options here. The, the default has always been this one here, which is none, there's no sketching. Uh, we have some uh, curved ones and I'm using the one called freehand, and then there's one that's more scribble. So you can uh, choose how sketched you want the, the shapes to be, uh, and then there are more items. So I'm using sort of the medium one here called freehand, and I've applied it to each of the shapes, and it makes them look like they're more hand-drawn. I've also used, as the font, I've used Lucida handwriting, so it looks like, again, it's more of a draft type of a process. When I move to the streamline final process, what I've done is I've simply moved the shapes into the new uh, arrangement. And then all I've done is, is I simply selected all of the shapes, I'll use an example here, went to the sketched and said none. So it's very easy to change something that looks like it was hand drawn to something that looks like it's final. The other thing I did, of course, is change the font here from the handwriting to the default for this template, which is Calibri. To make it uh, really pop, I used also the morph transition. So on my second slide, what I did is I had copied the first slide to the second slide, moved the shapes around, and under transitions, I used morph. What morph does is it automatically moves these shapes into their new position, changes the font for you, and that's what made it look really nice in that transition at the start of the video. Uh, I always like to make sure that it is moving everything the right way. If it doesn't, for some reason, what you can do is, again, you can use one of the features of Morph uh, today, which is in the selection pane, you can, if one of the shapes doesn't move correctly, you can simply go in to the shape name and add two exclamation marks at the start of the name on both the first slide and the second slide. And that tells PowerPoint that you really want these two shapes to morph specifically to get to from one shape to the other if it doesn't pick it up properly. Now in this case it did, but you can always use that if you need to. So that's how you can use a sketch shapes feature to move from a draft process to a final process and the visual reinforces the message you're delivering for your audience. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.